right? Um, academic dishonesty or non-integrity is a serious issue. Seriously. Very serious issue. Uska jo, um, jo hai na, it does not only fall on you. It actually falls on your reputation internationally. So if people are doing that I'm in philosophy and my husband is in physics, but when I wrote a paper, I wrote his name. And when I wrote a paper, I wrote my name, when I didn't have a physics definition. Bhi nahi aati. So that is a very serious issue because what it does is that it basically breaks your reputation in the international market. And once it happens, it takes years to build that reputation. Nobody like trust us, which is a problem, right? Um, and then data collection, you said. Is there an, can I ask you if there is an IRB, the internal no. revenue board? No. Most universities don't have. Uh, you don't have the we LCWU? Have, we have one. I'll initiate one. Okay, so in, if, if you have an IRB, if you, if you, all right, so it is being initiated and, and in that IRB, koi bahar se hai us IRB mein ke nahi, ya sare LCWU For the moment, So that has to go. So, so one of the big thing is accountability. I am making a constitution here. If you look at it, there is a psychologist, a subject expert, you have to say that the stakeholders are not there. Yeah. If the stakeholder is not there, yeah. it will not be honest. And then there is a constitution that you should have to say that there is a general discussion. Okay. Okay. No, but that's fine. It, it, it has started. But to have all LCWU people in there, and then that means it's you and me, then we can do whatever we want. That's not a good idea. So, so, so first, the IRB should have people elected, not selected. There's a huge difference between selected people and elected people. There are people who are known for their integrity. You know, I take pride in it. I will fight in the MSOE. I will say to someone, go, 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 I don't care. But what I did is, I garnish a lot of respect. They say that Gul will not do wrong work. It will be scared. Integrity is in it. So then, when the committee will come, they will say that Gul will not put it in it. It will not put it in it. It will not put it in it. You know? तो तो ऐसे तो ऐसे लोग जो हैं वो आप लोगों ने सिलेक्ट करने हैं और उनको अलेक्ट करें अपने डिपार्टमेंट से आपके जो एचओडीज जो हैं हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट एचओडीज हैं दे शुड पॉइंट आउट एट पीपल लाइक दिस के इस लड़की में इस खातून में इस पर्सन में बहुत इंटेग्रिटी है यू नो लेट्स कम फॉर इलेक्शन एंड यू अलेक्ट पीपल and then let them go into institutional IRB or institutional IRB ka a constitution hai, bylaws hai, roles hai aur usme dousri university ke log shamil hai foreign log shamil hai my husband from America is on many trusts in Pakistan ke wo paise jo hai wo misuse na ho jab wo bachche kisi gareeb ko jane hai to hum pehle scrutinize karte hai ke application sahi hai piche se maa baap ki zameenay to nahi hai गलत तो नहीं है फिर हम बच्चे को देते हैं पैसे के वो जाए यूनिवर्सिटी और पढ़े और डॉक्टर बने और इंजीनियर बने और लाइक दैट आई नो बिकॉज मैंने पहले ही कह दिया है कि जो लोग यहाँ बैठे हैं वो ऑलरेडी बहुत हार्ड काम कर रहे हैं लेकिन यही लोग हैं यही है टीम सो वी हैव टू डू इट टूगेदर राइट सो यू हैव ब्रॉड फॉरवर्ड वेरी गुड पॉइंट्स राइट सो वी विल वी विल वी विल बेसिकली वी विल मेक अ काउंसिल एंड वो सारे पॉइंट एक दफ़ा हल नहीं हो सकते तो उसका प्रायोरिटी बनाएंगे कि एल में पहली चीज़ क्या होनी चाहिए फिर दूसरी क्या होनी चाहिए फिर तीसरी क्या होनी चाहिए 
वो तीन चीज़ें पहले करेंगे बाकी चीज़ों की बारी बाद में आएगी और उसमें वो तीन चीज़ें मैं डिसाइड नहीं करूँगी बिल्कुल जैसे मेरी वर्कशॉप्स थे मैंने आप लोगों को ट्वेंटी टॉपिक्स भेजे आप लोगों ने वो छः लोग छः टॉपिक सेलेक्ट किए आप लोगों ने कहा कि ये छः टॉपिक हमें चाहिए तो वी विल मेक अ लिस्ट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स इट विल कम टू यू ऑल ऑफ यू विल लुक एट दैट लिस्ट एंड यू विल से ये तीन प्रॉब्लम पहले लेके चलेंगे हम फिर हम वही तीन प्रॉब्लम पहले लेके चलेंगे प्रॉब्लम्स तो होते हैं ख़त्म तो नहीं होंगे भाई लेकिन एटलीस्ट हम रिजॉल्व कर लेंगे बहुत सारे प्रॉब्लम टूगेदर ठीक है ओके नेक्स्ट कौन इस तरफ से आना चाहता है ओके गो है एक 
ताकि ये क्योंकि हम नहीं चाहते हमारी एक्सेप्टेंस रेशियो यूनिवर्सिटी की खराब हो क्लमजी किस्म के प्रोजेक्ट जाएं तो पहली स्टेज में जस्ट बिकॉज बेसिक डॉक्यूमेंट्स वर मिसिंग निकल व्हाट इज दैट ऑफिस फॉर वेटिंग वो हायर एजुकेशन कमीशन सेज इट शुड बी द ऑरे ऑफिस व्हिच आई एम हेडेड हाउएवर एक मसला ये आता है दैट बिकॉज वी ऑलवेज रन द रिस्क कि उसमें कोई म्यूचुअल जजमेंट्स इन्वॉल्व ना हो जाएं या चलो जी आ रहे हैं जो भी आ रहे हैं वी वांट टू सबमिट देम होपिंग एट लीस्ट कुछ तो सक्सेसफुल होंगे मगर जितना मैंने उन्हें देखा है आई हैव सीन दैट दे आर मेड वेरी क्लंजी उसकी शक्ल भी विद शक्ल मैटर नहीं करती इट्स अ कंटेंट बट ही इट्स द फर्स्ट इंप्रेशन शक्ल दी बेसिक अंग्रेजी बेसिक चीजें नहीं दे आर इन अ वेरी वेरी बैड स्टेट सो क्वालिटी इज 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 रॉट द पोस्ट ये तो एक मैंने आपके भी हाजिर Just by connecting up to you. Mm-hmm. मुझे थोड़ा सा पानी ला देंगे. जी जी. Thank you. आपकी help से ये concern मैं अपने share कर रही हूँ तो उसकी basic quality ही अक्सर काफी poor होती है. बाकी भी if you could share some tips with them how they can improve the quality of their application so that it's successful. Okay. So uh, I don't want you to spare me another minute because uh, my colleagues have to leave for a meeting also. That's fine. They do all these things. मैं आपके सामने सुना रही हूँ. Sure. So these are three things. Fourth thing is that one problem हमारे बहुत बड़ा मसला ये है, especially women university होने की वजह से. A lot of very bright women have never had a chance or an opportunity to, let's say, go abroad or interact or or do that. अगर वो करने का chance मिले तो जितने मस्त हैं आपने शुरू में highlight किए वो automatically हो जाते हैं. Yes, yes. Because when you go, I was coming to that. Yeah. You know, you meet, interact, you automatically see the inclusion that you're talking about, and you come back as a changed person. Correct. और वो कई लोग बहुत talented औरतें हैं और ये नहीं कर पाती वो personal reasons at times for Correct. societal reasons. अगर इस स्टेज पे वो वुमेन आ रही हैं इंक्रीजिंगली हैव पीपल कमिंग अप टू मी एंड आस्किंग कि वो अगर एक शॉर्ट टर्म विजिटिंग फेलोशिप विजिटिंग स्कॉलर अपॉर्चुनिटी उन पे जा सकते दोस आर देयर यस अब उसमें अगर इफ देयर आर दोस अपॉर्चुनिटीज या कोई मेजर सोर्सेस हैं वो भी अगर आप आई कर सकते हैं या एडवर्टाइज करके अप्लाई Okay. The second, I know that post doctorate के लिए Fulbright is very good opportunity which our faculty can avail. Yep. उसके लिए हमारी फैकल्टी को मसला ये आता है कि यू नीड टू हैव एन एक्सेप्टेंस फ्रॉम अ पोटेंशियल सुपरवाइजर और पोटेंशियल लैब यप व्हाट कुड यू डू टू लेट्स से गेट दैट एक्सेप्टेंस नाउ आई आई हैव आई बिलीव टू मेनी क्वेश्चंस बट यू कैन मेक मी अ डिसाइड टू पुट देम ऑल ऑल ऑन पेपर फील्ड और फर्दर एक प्रॉब्लम और आती है जब हम पीपल डायरेक्टली कांटेक्ट फॉरेन यूनिवर्सिटीज जितने लोग यहां पे बैठे हैं ये सब पोस्ट डॉक करने के लेवल से बेसिकली ये ऊपर उठ चुके हैं दैट्स फाइन जो कि अब पाकिस्तान में थोड़ा सा पोस्ट डॉक भी मिसअंडरस्टूड है पीपल कैरी इट लाइक लाइक ऑलमोस्ट लाइक अ बैज ऑफ ऑनर लाइक अ डिग्री की सॉरी पीएचडी की जो मैंने पोस्ट डॉक भी यहां से किया विदाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि पोस्ट डॉक की ट्रेनिंग होती है जो आम तौर पर अर्ली करियर के लोग करते हैं But uh, yeah. and and that is a problem when people have when they contact them directly with post doc opportunities because people here I I feel maybe I'm I'm wrong they they are more in the category where they can be visiting scholars or visiting researchers or उसके लिए I think they all love to do that if there's a funding available तो उसके लिए अगर कोई let's say कोई US sources हैं who are because I understand कि सब को edge नहीं है that number one uh there women <laughs> there are obviously uh, koi bhi wo aata hai to women and minorities always have a preference plus they are representing a very large women university that is our second edge i i call it a edge because i know to the best of my knowledge that it is an edge especially with women in stem fields to uh, usko ek is tarah se us edge ko bhi tap kare but not in a way that it seems like mai khatu hu isliye mujhe please le lo not that way but the fact that of course there are more opportunities available to this particular edge Or um, how could they possibly, let's say, go for a foreign experience? जो कि बिजनेस में खुद हर चीज़ में तो दिखी है। और इसके साथ, I also my apologies, I have to go because it's a meeting. That's fine. That's fine. So, so you you have raised a lot of good questions. So, so I think you can give us two minutes so that I can address them. <coughs> so, um, I have put on the board these three names. Everybody should note these three names down. One is called NIH. That stands for National Institute of Health. And there is a misnomer that people think that National Institute of Health only gives scholarships and money for health. 
projects. That is not true. They have many, many other um, scholarships and funding available with them. Then there's something called NSF, which stands for National Science Foundation. And National Science Foundation is most of the time do the science projects, but also the collaborative projects, for example, from linguistics, but they have like the science department uh, involved in it or engineering involved in it, collaborative projects. And CDC, you might have heard the name a lot these days, which is the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. And because there is a virus going on in the world, they have huge amount of money. These are the three basic things, you know, they have large amounts of money, then there are many private philanthropists, they have their websites, and on their websites, many times the application is like two pages long. That's it. You don't even have to make a, a copy. You go online, you fill out the application right there and apply. It will take you half an hour, if that, right? So, so we, I can make a list of many, many different things like for fine arts, for art and culture also, and, and that is an easy job that, that I can do. The other important question that Aksa has brought up is, she's right, you travel, you change. You are a very different person. You meet people with other cultures and you come back a different person. And in America, we always tell our students, if you have a chance to become a foreigner in any other country and Canada does not count, you should go. But Canada has the same culture, so it's like, doesn't matter. But if you have a chance to be a foreigner, language is not your, attire is not your, food is not your, culture is not your, do not miss that chance. Because you will like learn a lot. You will come back a different person. So Aksat, ask a question and she answered it so I will not address it so you should not miss an opportunity for traveling that is always good even traveling to different cities in Pakistan is very important there are almost some cities in Pakistan are almost like different countries there will people speak with an accent and the Punjabi you will not understand at all my sister was just telling me when she started working in the fountain house you know, and she started living on a farm. She said, people come there and they say something and she was embarrassed that, oh my God, what did, what did you say? And then she would ask a local person to come and try to figure out what was being said. Okay, the quality of the things, that is the major thing your applications will get rejected. Your application, if it seems like that you have not, Nobody dislikes Pakistanis because their English is bad. Nobody dislikes you for that. What they dislike you is for, yaar, kisi se to leni thi. Matlab ye ke usme aapne kitna effort dala. In America, I have been there 32 years in America. More life there than I had in Pakistan, right? So, when I write something, I give three people to read it. Three people. And one people is always that person who has English as the first language. American Sailing. You know? And then I will give it to my husband. I said, read it. Do you like it? He says, it's not my field. I said, I don't care. Read it. Because Punishment because you're my <laughs> husband. Right? So it's very important. It's very important that you, and that's why I said, let me show you the other end of it. How did I start this meeting? Collaborate. You have an English department here. What is that English department doing? Make collaboration. Say that this is written, read it, 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 read it. And make collaborations outside world and then when you write something, one problem in Pakistan is the last day, oh, uh, deadline, and the last day, 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 
I started working with Anjum and then I started working with Dr. Iqtadar. And they are both sitting here and I want to tell you, all of you, I was so impressed with the discipline with which these two women work with me. Eight o'clock means eight o'clock. Four o'clock means four o'clock. I write an email and I'm like, what? They answer me? Oh my God, I'm working in America now. <laughs> You know, and that drove me here. I have worked with many universities. I've worked with Oxford also. Same, same, same kind of things. People have same kind of problems all over the world. But I was so impressed with Dr. Iqdar and Dr. Tahira. Oh my God, I was like, well, to Tahira, I said, don't you sleep for God's sake, sleep. I told her. I said, don't you sleep? And she said, it takes one to know one. You are awake too. So, so she told me, you told me I'm awake like at 3 a.m. in the morning. These kind of people are hardworking people. So, so, so you have to basically get that application checked before it gets vetted. And then vetting thing, what she said. You basically, because you, what you have to do is, you have put the personal things aside. It is nothing personal because, 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 because you say to me, Gul, your, your, by the way, your, your first draft, your, if you will tell me, Gul, your, uh, uh, whatever you gave me, the document sucks, that is offensive. That is very offensive and I will not like you. That's human nature. But if you tell me, there are training sessions for that too. Ke logo ko inkar kaise karte hai? Uske sessions hote hai bakaita. Skill set hai ye. Aap kaite hai ke dekho ye tumne bhoot acha first draft binaya. Is me bhoot galti hai. Thik hai? To isko bhoot kaam ki zhururat hai. Mainne pen se mark kar diya hai kai jiga pe. Ye tum kisi ko padhao ja ke pehle. You know, iska second draft le ke ao phir us pe kaam karte hai. Now I am not offended. Now I know कि किसी ने मेरा पहला काम देख लिया है उसमें वाकई बहुत गलतियां और और अगर आपने सुरख पेन से कुछ मार्क कर दिया गलतियां तो अगले को भी नजर आ जाएगा कि oh my god मैंने तो शेयर के स्पेलिंग भी रॉंग लिखे हैं यू नो कोलैबोरेटिव में बी गायब है यू नो पंक्चुएशन यू नो लेट्स ईट ग्रैंडमा लेट्स ईट खामा ग्रैंडमा इस जुमले में क्या फर्क है लेट्स ईट ग्रैंड मा के बदले चलो ग्रैंड मा को खा जाते हैं लेट्स ईट कामा ग्रैंड मा ग्रैंड मा आओ खाना खा लें जमीन आसमान का फर्क है और जब अमेरिकन में जाएगा और आपने लिख दिया लेट्स ईट ग्रैंड मा तो वो कहेगा है ये तो ग्रैंड नहीं होने की राइट सो इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट वी रीड और एक दूसरे को हम हेल्प करें कि तुमने लिखा है मैं पढ़ देती हूँ मैंने पढ़ा है मैंने लिखा है आप पढ़ दो और फिर उसको आप तीन चार पांच जगह पर पढ़ाएं लेट हो जाएगा और उसका तरीका ये है कि प्लीज लास्ट डे ना काम शुरू करें एक हफ्ता पहले ना शुरू करें उसको मैं लॉक लगा सकती हूँ जैसे अगर मैंने डॉक्टर पे जाना है वो भी अगर मेरे कैलेंडर पे है तो यू विल नॉट एबल टू सी दैट यू विल ओनली सी गुल इज नॉट फ्री टू मीट But then we, what we do is we say, अगले साल, every other Sunday, syndicate की meeting है, उस syndicate में ये सारे लोग हैं, आपने ये Sunday book रखें और please ये ना कहें कि हमने शादी पर जाना है। You are not going to wedding. You are coming to the syndicate meeting because you are a responsible woman, right? So वो थोड़ा सा discipline है और अक्सर ने बहुत अच्छे points जो हैं वो discuss किए हैं, you know? लेकिन उसमें skill set रहता है। ये कहना कि ये ले जाओ ये क्या काम है ये बड़ा बुरा काम है उससे अगले लोग ऑफेंड हो जाते हैं तो वो भी एक स्किल सेट है जो हम सिखाते हैं प्लीज यस आई मीन यू जस्ट हिट इट द बुल्स आई ये सॉफ्ट स्किल्स और इमोशनल स्किल सेट्स जो हैं प्रोफेशनल वर्ल्ड में बड़े इंपॉर्टेंट होते हैं कि जब आप गुस्से में हैं क्या नहीं कहना क्या नहीं करना You know, so usme idiom aagya, English as a second language, sleep on it, 
sleep on it <laughs> never write a letter sleep on it next day you will feel very different aapka haath bahut der se upar tha to please please talk my concern is related to my subject introduce karwaiye the sign of our problem is coming uh, i want to uh, give awareness that uh, islamic studies is not a uh, subject to only to offer prayers or team fasting Uh, but I want to give awareness, uh, especially in America and Western platforms, uh, that uh, this study uh, explores and discovers, uh, uh, you know, huge you know, uh, so, uh, paper of research uh, science as well. Uh, Quran says, "Inna fi dajjal ayati lilumi ya nafatun ya ayati lilumi albab." There are many signs uh, for the research for thought. Uh, for reason of course uh, i need a platform uh, from where uh, we should express uh, our islamic studies okay so that is a million dollar question um dr saima farooq ki or farooq okay so dr saima farooq one uh, so so this is very subjective this is very very subjective so so take it with a grain of salt one of the problems that muslims are facing in the world right now after 9/11 yeah. i cannot tell you the brunt of hatred we have suffered and our children have suffered at the hand of mr osama bin laden he did it or he didn't do it i don't know why he did it i don't know but you have no idea that how much damage he did to islam because now people started associating islam with terrorism jihad this is jihad what you are doing this is jihad you are trying to change a nation you are trying to change the life of a young human being that and then the american world said oh my god jihad this is jihadis and and it is like a ongoing battle that we say jihad is not a bad word it's a good word a woman who gets divorced you know jo apne bacche akele palti hai jiska husband mar jata hai wo akele bacche palti hai wo husband jo akela apne bacche palta hai uski wife nahi hai ye jihad hai you know so we definitely need that europe mein iska bahut bada platform hai both shias and sunnis and ahmadis का हर सब के अपने अपने प्लेटफॉर्म्स हैं वहाँ लेकिन मैं आपको कहूँगी कि इसका जो रिसर्च के साथ प्लेटफॉर्म बनेगा वो सबसे खूबसूरत है क्योंकि लोगों को ये बताने की ज़रूरत है कि इस्लाम जो है वो कितना इंक्लूसिव रिलीजन है कितना खूबसूरत रिलीजन है और कितना इवॉल्विंग रिलीजन है यूरोप ये बात नहीं समझता अमेरिका भी नहीं समझता इसलिए कि हमारे पास आप जैसे इस्कॉलर्स वहाँ आके नहीं करते हैं कम है यानी ऐसे लोग हैं जिन्होंने बड़ी बड़ी मीटिंग्स में हजारों लोगों के सामने बताया है कि एक्चुअल इस्लाम इज सो ब्यूटीफुल सो इवॉल्विंग सो इंक्लूसिव सो लिबरल पीपल गिव एग्जांपल्स लाइक मोहम्मद फर्स्ट मैरिज शी प्रपोज हिम शी वाज ओल्डर देन हिम शी वाज अ बिजनेस वूमन सी ई ओ शी इज अस you know and mohammed brought the prophet and she says who is this honest young man and they said oh this is mohammed and she proposed him these things need to come out on the world platform Be i need your help to assess the yes so so i i i'm going to be very honest with you because i am in the field of science and engineering i have very little connection but for you i will inshallah make a connection i will start with the sunday there is a sunday school in milwaukee every state has a sunday school and in sunday school if christians do it they send their children to learn bible and uh, muslims send their children to learn quran and there are sunday schools for different things so i will connect i i am not connected to them i will connect with them because of you and i will tell them that we want to bring something to milwaukee milwaukee ke ek taraf chicago hai jo bahut bada platform hai bahut muslims hain wahan bhi 
और एक तरफ मेडिसिन है जो आज मैंने बताया सुबह वो भी बहुत बड़ा प्लेटफॉर्म है बहुत डाइवर्स दा, बहुत डाइवर्सिटी है वहाँ सो इन आई डोंट हैव वन ऑन मी बट आई विल कनेक्ट यू आई प्रोमिस यू एंड देन वट आई डू इज़ वेन आई कनेक्ट पीपल देन आई डोंट इन इन इंटरफेयर यू टेक इट फ्राम देयर क्योंकि आपका मैं कनेक्शन बना दूंगी तो यू कैन टेक इट फ्राम देयर यू कैन टेल दैम वट डू यू वॉन्ट टू डू दे विल टेल यू ये नहीं चलेगा ये चलेगा और उसमें स्कॉलरशिप्स हैं बहुत पैसे हैं उसमें बहुत बहुत पैसे हैं उस फील्ड में भी क्योंकि हमें चाहिए कि हम दुनिया को दिखाएं कि सचमुच वाला इस्लाम क्या है यू नो बहुत सारी मिस जिसे कहते हैं कॉन्सेप्शन हैं इस्लाम के बारे में तो उसमें आपका ये जो काम है इट विल बी वेरी वेरी मच वैल्यूड इन द बेस्ट एंड आई विल वर्क विद यू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ biotechnology and what is your name dr faiza slim faiza slim faiza slim yes i was in uh, you were in china china in 2009 for ayurveda uh, meeting and the ayurveda president he said all the talbar i know and i was i was just surprised it is and so and offensive listen, it listen. is so offensive and i was just like this and he said yes we all are done done we are all are good done. for you and, and and that was more pakistan than muslim and you know what taliban means so it's so clear and as well that they should know what taliban mean or what yes. taliban means yes so i i have been asked this question many times they say oh when you go to pakistan do you do this and i said no i don't but if we do this it is not bad either a woman has a right to dress whatever she wants to do you never talk about what men wear people are going to mars and we are still stuck in what our women should wear how can i tell this woman what to wear whether it is a shalwar kameez or a pant kameez or a uh, short shirt or we we this misconception is there in the world and and we as educated women you know it is actually about women emancipation it has to do with women empowerment also because there are scientist women who completely do all hijab and they are do all the science work the women like me you know who dress like me there i told you about the turkish girl <laughs> with a crop uh, blouse and a short skirt she came to offer her prayer I don't do five times prayer. I don't know where she was. She came to the mosque to do her prayer. So we we people should not profile us for what we wear. Yeah, but, but I'm just talking that. Ah, right, right. They do. Uh, they do. If they are. They. Actually, you know why they do you though? Do you do you know why they do it? You know, because we do. Yeah. We do. With with, I I, men I. men are very uh, my brothers my, uh, they are our brothers they are our husbands our sons nothing against them but with apologies to this two men standing there uh men in pakistan profile women if aapne aise kapde pehne hain to aap ye hogi aur aapne aise kapde pehne hain to aap ye hogi but you don't know you don't know what a woman is to ye ye concept badalne ki bahut zarurat hai bahut bada platform hai ye तो मैंने इस प्लेटफॉर्म पे मैं 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 वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट में बहुत आगे हूँ आई एम्पावर वुमेन आई फेसिलिटेट देम आई ओपन डोर्स फॉर देम यू नो दैट व्हाट आई डू दैट्स माय जॉब लेकिन ये इस्लाम में एम्पावरमेंट देना कि वो आके इसमें मैंने अभी काम नहीं किया इन यू आर ओपनिंग दिस डोर फॉर मी सो आई विल वर्क विद यू गाइज एंड आई विल ओपन या Yeah. Yeah. Continue. Okay. Uh, as I told you, I am from the biotechnology department. Yes. Uh, I just uh, like to give you an example that when you started working and you were to believe that you can do, I just want to add another example. Uh, I have worked on the uh, biosynthesis. Biosynthesis. Bio what? Bio insecticides. 
Okay. Biological yeah, insects. yeah, biological insects. Based on invested surgeon. Yes. And uh, in there, there's some problem that uh, one of the teeth leads to other helper proteins to express itself. Why that two other helper proteins do not have any okay. role in the function of that protein? So if you can express that only protein. Chaperones, huh? Yeah, chaperones. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you could express only that protein, that would be uh, very, very convenient for special, like uh, when you go for transgenics and so on. Okay. Uh, I started working on that and uh, I wrote to uh, senior lecturer in Sussex University. Sussex. Sussex. Okay. And I asked him for some of his articles which were not available online. Okay. Uh, he was the student of DJ Allen, who is actually the authority on BT, who is the pioneer of BT research at the University of Cambridge. Okay. And he was graduated from there. Okay. He said my two texts worked a lot on it and we could not express it on its own. It surely it needs a chaperone to help with Sure. <clears throat> and he didn't, uh, I said, okay, send the, that particular data. He sent, and then afterwards, it was only uh, less than four months that I could express that routine without the chevron. Good. And that too, the expression of that routine was at least five times higher wow. as compared to the native one. Okay. And that was uh, sort of uh, backward engineering, reverse engineering, where all the changes have been made in the uh, untranslated five prime from the region. Yeah. The five prime appears, right? And uh, uh, on that, I won this young scientist program uh, offered by IUMB. Okay. Uh, to present my work in China. Okay. And uh, I was, I was the first Pakistani who has been. Invited for an oral talk at that IUPM forum. Okay. Mashallah. And, uh, and uh, nine years later, this was my student who was continued on the work on that, and she was the first Pakistani to give an oral talk on the main forum of IUPM. Okay, so and tell tell me tell me what problem, are the tell me what are the problems? Yeah, yeah. Problem. The problem was. Uh, uh, this was actually basically it was a uh, not for that particular routine. It, it, this was actually the process that was enhancing the production of that protein. And you know, business is a very good cause of a lot of industrial science and other sort of things. No, I understand, but some, but yeah. but yeah. let's not talk science because many people do not understand. I understand what you are talking about. Okay. But that tell process, tell me okay. tell me what is the what is the problem that we can solve for you? Yeah. The process needs to be elaborated with other things, with other uh, peptides, and so on. The process has not be, it should be adopted or, uh, uh, say, uh, in some collaboration with the industry or the uh, enzyme producing companies should happen. Do you need, fun do you need funding? Uh, do you have funding? funding no, no, uh, I have a different uh, shots on 5.8 million rupees, and for that, we have worked on that project with my student partner. Okay, not, uh, maybe. What, what is the current mm -hmm. issue? Okay, so, 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 because you talked science, that is beautiful. I mean, that's very close to my heart, I understand that. But the bottom line is that you would like to have international collaborations. And of course, no matter how much funding you have, you always need funding. And then um, there is, a, what I hear is that you would like to have like a in, elaborate, elab, elaborative lab here, right? So I cannot help you with lab. That part I cannot help because that is an internal matter in the LCWU and I will never barge in to, to solve so those. To, I will not. But that's not my role. But um, when it comes to collaboration, bioinformatics is now worldwide. It is very like um, popular in the in the Western world, and I can help you meet bioinformaticists who can actually help you figure out your data 
or do it fast you know because they have like these fast computers and things like that so that is not our problem we have a bioinformaticist in our biomolecular engineering program as well and now you can also um, actually it's called cheap cheap hire cheap, cheap hire is that there are students who are masters in bioinformatics or something like that and you like hire them with the money that you have and they churn the data for you you just like produce the data and your only job is to actually do the data but we can mashallah your work is very beautiful and and may 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 you have more power more power to you you know so collaborations and fundings is i think a universal problem everybody has that problem so we will work on that you know and uh, the infrastructure one is those are the kind of problems i will never touch at lcwu that's not that's not my area no but uh, but like if you are having in a sphere of collaboration and yep. we offer the university and these are the processes that you can have yeah and we can help you to produce large amount of enzyme or whatever right that's called industrial collaboration yeah. but but i mean sorry i i do not want to talk biology but just bear with me for like 2 minutes but because you know that enzymes and proteins have very short shelf life you know that their shelf life is very short so you most of the time when you elute a protein or an enzyme it should be used in the local market so your collaborations for that particular kind of work will come from pakistan you can collaborate intellectually overseas but if you want to bring your protein and enzyme to the market here to be used in an industry that industry should be in pakistan and should be in lahore because i don't know what is the shelf life of your protein or enzyme but it is short Does it does it make sense, right? They 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 are they are not stable. The real proteins and enzymes are not stable. So so sending them abroad might not be that feasible. But we'll talk more about that. Okay. Okay. Who is next? Okay. Um, I'm more interested. Uh, Please introduce Kumar yourself. Yes, I'm Dr. Kumar Kasi, uh, Director of Student Affairs and Associate Professor of the Science Department. Uh, my uh, I would like. Uh, you to guide us about uh, developing our young leaders as they are the ambassadors and talk about this uh, opportunities for students. So, uh, can there be any collaboration regarding uh, their uh, like uh, increasing their exposure and their training and polishing them and how they can be good professionals, positive ones? <coughs> okay. okay. So, so yes, I can help you with that tremendously. so we do in at msoe we do something which is called um, capstone do you do did you guys do capstone capstone is a project which goes from a semester or to a year it is either a semester project or it is a year project okay then there is a collaboration which happens between the team of students from america and the team of students from anywhere else in the world because now we work on the internet and zoom and like covid-19 has hurt us a lot but it has also jolted us and give us a lot of new things so first people didn't used to do that huma but now what happens is that i know that everybody in lcwu is uh, ready to come on the zoom so i can do a zoom meeting with you guys right so what have happened is that the, if there is a collaborative capstone project capstone project or i don't know what you call it here i think you we call it a, a stage program i don't know that but i think uh, in Five some years. countries it is called um, senior senior design project yes in in some countries it is called final year thesis or senior design project we call it capstone or senior design project in that senior design project sd we write it as for sam d for dog right sd project or capstone project what happens is that there is a team of four students sitting in america and there is a team of four students let's say sitting in your department you are in cs department and cs projects and ce projects are very easy 
you have to sit in front of the computer. I don't mean to like down you. I mean, you guys can work without money. I am so jealous, you know, because all your projects are on software or hardware, hardware. So all you need is a motherboard and you're ready to work. And those projects are very easy and I can help you collaborate with three universities there. Uh, MSOE, my own university, UW, where I am, I'm an alum. I did my doctorate from UW Milwaukee and I did my postdoctorate from uh, Medical College UW Madison. So I can, I can help you connect with, with three universities, okay? And then you take from there and then, then the, this is one of the very important things that if you do this for students, not only you will be changing the faculty, you will be changing the students. And when you change the students, you change the alums. When you change the alums, you change the endowment money that comes back to the LCWU. LCWU is an old institution, classic institution, beautiful all women institution. How come its endowment is not bringing money to all of you? It's not. You know why? Because there is no connection. That connection is lost. Maybe there are many women who are CEOs. Look me, look at me. I am a LCWU alum. I, I made a biomolecular engineering program, brought $6 million, never collaborate with anybody at LCWU. LCWU didn't even know three years, two years ago that where I am, Dr. Bushra pointed me out in a meeting where I was a keynote speaker and she said, Ke chalo, university chalo. You know, she, she invited me. So this connection with the students is very important because students go become very successful businessmen and then they, that circle is called closing the loop. That loop only closes when that student comes back and give. This is what I am doing. I'm giving back to my alma mater. I want to make a difference for my alma mater because this university made me. I did my FSE here and I did my bachelor's here. It's four years of my life, you know, they shaped me, right? So inshallah, I will connect you to those three universities. That is an easy one. I'll do that for you. And my, my own students do a lot of bioinformatics uh, um, bioinformatics projects, uh, I mean um, capstones, and also a lot of different kind of uh, computer projects. But they also do a lot of biology projects. For example, my students, my uh, my one team of students, they actually redesign the valve that you put in the heart. You know the valve that goes in the heart. My students redesign it in America. Because that valve, when you put it, as soon as the patient get up, that valve moves. And it moves and then it becomes leaky. And it leaks, you know. So my students redesign that valve. Yeah, so, so we do a lot of projects like that, the capstones. Okay, next, who is next? Um, sure. Please, introduce yourself. Yes, hi. Um, I am Yasmin Mon. Yes, uh, Yasmin what? Mon, M W N Mon. Oh, how beautiful. Not man, right? Man. Yes. yes. <laughs> I like that. Okay, Yasmin Man, uh, uh, which department are you? Uh, I'm heading architecture department currently. Before I Architectural start, engineering or just no, architect? architecture? It is a five years degree program. Okay. Uh, architectural engineering is a bit different. It okay. has a different module of study, it's okay. centered more towards building services and all that. However, architectural design, it covers um, design, structural uh, management, construction management, and uh, a lot of other inter interdisciplinary subjects. Before I come to my questions, I would really love to share a bit of success stories uh, too, because I, I take it as a pride owning this institution when we started, it was a, it was a sheer, sheer challenge. Everybody knows here. Uh, the department was initiated in 2012 and I joined here in 2014. Uh, for certain unlucky circumstances, uh, the program was not approved at that time. 
I know some of you might find it very boring because I don't know how many know or not. However, she is new to us. So That's I okay. But why? Just just tell us like briefly why yes. was why was it not approved? Uh, there are certain logistic criteria. The department had to have this. Uh, the department had to have this um, infrastructure and resources, which was very successfully addressed by university in 2015. This was the first department which was solely started for girls. Previously, there was no such president in the country. Uh, from two schools of architecture, certainly there was a mushroom growth of architecture schools in Pakistan, to uh, 36 in total. And out of those 36 schools, only two to three were accredited, rest all were in, uh, accredited, including ourselves. Now, what, what, is, what is the accrediting body here? Pakistan Council of Architects and Town Planners. They have the certain criteria. Can you say it again? P -cat P. P Pakistan P. P. Council okay. of I, I'll find it. P -cat P. Yes. Okay. The basic criteria now, however, was very minimum. It's not something that could not have been done previously. However, LCWU took it very seriously to HEC. They funded uh, and we established higher to what was needed. Uh, the vision was very strong with the administration. And we are lucky enough to have the support from administration, dean office, all the directorates here. We are the youngest department here, I believe. Uh, but however, with a lot of support and everything, today in ranking, we stand nationally in the top four departments. The team is very promising. Uh, we how, have, how, how big is your team? Uh, it is seven regular faculty members and 14 uh, visiting faculty members. We are supposed to have visiting faculty members because as per HEC and PCAP guidelines, we have to have these uh, practicing architects on board. Uh, some of them are huge names. They can't uh, hired here for full time owing to their practice and their firms. Now to cut it short, <coughs> back in 2016, 17 and 18, we had these collaborations in internationally with Tucson City Government Mayor Office. We had this collaboration with Disaster Risk Management Unit at PSPA Manila. My own PhD dissertation is towards disaster risk management in rural sector of Punjab, Pakistan. Uh, and while doing that research and uh, with the support of this uh, PSP and QCG government uh, forums going on, we had these collaborations done with uh, low income sector housing departments at Punjab government, which was very fruitful. Uh, we had this collaboration with Directorate of Research at Building Station at um, CNW government of Punjab. Now, why am I mentioning all these forums? This is a neglected portion of construction industry in Pakistan altogether. It is only with this government's initiative called Nea Pakistan Housing Scheme that for the first time, that sector of society has been addressed, which was never taken into account by our architectural community itself. It was considered a subject for the rich who could afford the designs. For low-income housing, uh, it was it was never an objectivity I understand. practicing architects. That that's true for the rest of the world yes. too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and while going on, while moving on towards those uh, collaborations, uh, we introduced elective subjects like low-income housing society, how to make it sustainable. And Alhamdulillah, we are the only department right now who's teaching at undergrad level this subject disaster mitigation, low-income sector housing, sustainable design as a studio. There are, there are three categories in uh, architectural teachings. Uh, one is design studio, then it's workshop courses, then it's theoretical courses. For us, whenever we introduced a new subject, we opted for design studios. One theory. So, 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 yes. so, so this is technical, yes. and, and it's it, it, this is not the subject of today today's meeting. So, can we can yes. we move after, to after we, in respect of like the time? Yes. Can after. we move to what? would you like to be done yes. like what 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 so what are the limitations just having, let's talk about these, that having these collaborations with government at this low income housing sector level i have come across a lot of universities abroad who are a part 
uh, logically, legally they are a part, or you can say in composition they are a part of policy making whenever they have to decide something on public sector level. So will it be possible that we collaborate with some university abroad who is dealing with their city governments uh, for urban design, for uh, any policy making? We, start, we started this one year PT program that's directly in collaboration with tourism department. And uh, I've come across many universities abroad who are working with their uh, urban development sector at public sector level. Okay, so so if you want to collaborate, there, there are tons. There there are tons of like architectural. So so one, it is one of those engineerings which has a lot of money. <laughs> There are, there are other engineerings which do not need that much money. We were talking about like the computer sciences and like that. But in architects, there is a lot of money. And like you correctly already mentioned, that architectural engineering usually help the rich and affluent people in Europe and in America also. Whether the collab collaborations are possible, of course collaborations are possible. So you have to define that, do you want students to collaborate, do you want faculty to co collaborate, or do you want both, you know? All I have to do is like just put you in touch with one or two schools. You start from there, and usually when you start talking with a faculty member, they will tell you, okay, I am not interested in this field, or I am not doing this, but, you know, my other friend is in Seattle, and he is working on the urban policy a lot. And then once I make that connection, you take over and then it, it like flourishes, you know? C collaboration is one thing that if you do not have, that will hurt us. And it is plenty of that sitting out there. Everybody wants to collaborate. Funding comes with collaboration. Fundings come with interdisciplinary. Fundings come with uh, uh, developing and non-developing countries or very developed countries together. Fundings come with two very different departments, you know, with a very innovative idea or very innovative project, right? Those kind of things. So for example, um, just to connect the dots here. So for example, architecture, if you are dealing with affluent people, which you do, and in America, they do too, you should be collaborating, I think, with Dr. Dar. I think it was Rifat Dar, who is like in the artists and like that, because artist community is the one always need for money and the rich can only pay for the tickets and for going to a good show poor people will not go they have to do the roti thing right but if somebody is affluent wo log hain jo stage show dekhne jayenge ajoka theater jayenge ya you know uh, only re because the t tickets are expensive but it's very strange and that is true in the world it's not about Pakistan it is very strange that if I want to buy a TV I am ready to pay four or five thousand dollars for it because why it entertains me but if there is an artist who actually does the same entertains me sings dance drama we are like hi I don't want to pay that much ticket. Why not? You pay $4,000 for a television, right? So that cult that is cultural also. So these kind of collaborations, like which people don't see in the world, architectural department, uh, a collaboration with the artists and see how you can come up with an innovative idea. Oh my God, the money will flow, right? For that, you need to sit with that department because all the things are here. I am only connecting the dots for you because I have seen it. I have seen it in America, architectural departments helping the dance, the drama, the starving artists 
and things like that and they make like these special uh, buildings you know temporary buildings where they conduct the shows and the show goes on for like a month and the whole month the your department your students will be going and doing that drama there while architecture will have their architect there displaying that's the reason most of the pakistani institutes have uh, finance departments and architecture uh, work together? together okay design. so then you guys know the answer this, uh, architecture based on design so it yeah the yeah it's very you you just have to be a little innovative and of course foreign collaborations are there that we will work upon that will be one of our i think top things we will be working upon mm -hmm. whosoever work from there my my job is only to connect you after that you take over okay who wants to go next okay uh, actually, problem is that when I have a collaboration with the Tapian, I have a mission to cause a response. So, we can say that we don't want to collaborate or something okay. like that. But the problem is that they want the funding from my side. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, where do we have a Of course. So, um, uh, so um, मैं एक कॉम्प्लीमेंट करना चाहूँगी डॉक्टर महवेश से जब मैं पहली दफ़ा मिली टेलीफोन पे मिली जाहिर है शी जस्ट खट टू द पॉइंट आपने देखा कैसे डिश कर दिया एक मिनट नहीं लगाया दैट्स ऑसम दैट इज सो अमेरिकन यू टेल योर नेम एंड देन यू से ये प्रॉब्लम है सॉल्व कर दो सो इट्स 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 अ कॉम्प्लीमेंट ओके so that problem does exist um my first admission and this is like uh uh 21 years old problem 21 years ago two decades ago uh i got admitted into leeds leeds is a very good university and they said you you are awesome come do phd with us bring your own money I said I don't have money. <laughs> I don't have money. <laughs> I have to buy the ticket by selling the curtains of my house. So of course I didn't go to Leeds. Then America gave me admission and they say come we will give you money and of course I I go. So you, uh, your problem is that you want collaboration but you also want the funding to come from there. Okay. and that is a hard one you know it's like jab aapke paas paise hai na to har koi aapko paise deta bhi hai aur jab aapke paas paise nahi hai to koi aapki taraf dekhta bhi nahi hai jab aapko paise ki zarurat nahi hai tab aapko paise deta hai you know so that it's like a it's a you are between hard place and a rock so um uske do tarike hain uh aur aur ye take it with a grain of salt ye main sirf isko dish kar rahi hu usko main table kar rahi hu aapke samne कुछ यूनिवर्सिटियाँ ऐसा रूल बनाती हैं कि अगर आप 50,000 फंडिंग लेकर आए हैं तो यूनिवर्सिटी उसको 50,000 डॉलर टू डॉलर मैच कर देगी और ये बहुत बड़ी चीज़ होती है क्योंकि जब आप वो एप्लीकेशन डालते हैं आप उन्हें कहते हैं कि यूनिवर्सिटी मेरे साथ है और जितने डॉलर मैं लेके आऊँगी मेरी यूनिवर्सिटी उसको मैच कर देगी डॉलर टू डॉलर आई मीन रुपी टू रुपी हेयर ठीक है तो आप 50,000 लेकर आए 50,000 मिल गए लाख रुपया हो गया एंड सो फोर्थ उस तरह के पैसे बहुत अट्रैक्टिव होते हैं और बाहर के लोगों को ये पता चलता है कि यूनिवर्सिटी आपके पीछे है ठीक है और उसके बाद वो क्या करते हैं कि कई दफा आपको पैसे नहीं देते वो ये कहते हैं कि आपकी लैब में एक लिस्ट बना के दे दें हम आपको सारा इंस्ट्रूमेंट खरीद देते हैं तो आपने पैसे क्या करने हैं अगर वो आपको सारा इंस्ट्रूमेंट खरीद दे दें राइट they will buy pcr for you they will buy sequencers for you whatever you need in your lab so they will basically equip your labs and make you functional it's all about functionality so they will say hamare paas khule paise nahi hai open money nahi hai because many universities think that wo exploit ho jayenge paise you know like are they say ke hamare paas personnel ke liye paise nahi hai they say aapko tankha nahi denge lekin हम आपकी लैब इक्विप कर देते हैं आप बता देंगे प्रोजेक्ट क्या है प्रोजेक्ट टुगेदर और ऐसे पैसे हैं 
राइट सो ऑल आई हैव टू डू इज शो यू कि ऐसी मनी कहाँ पड़ी है यू नो द इंडस्ट्री इन अमेरिका क्योंकि वो हाई थ्रू पुट करते हैं बिकॉज ओके सो इंडस्ट्री का काम है पैसा बनाना ठीक है ना तो इंडस्ट्री अपनी सारी मशीनरी अप टू डेट रखते हैं बहुत अप टू डेट मशीनरी होती है जैसे आप ये 2021 है तो उनके पास 2021 के मॉडल हैं सारे जो 2020 की चीज़ें हैं 2019 की चीज़ें हैं वो या कबाड़े में फेंक देते हैं या डोनेट कर देते हैं अगर वो डोनेट करते हैं तो वो दे लुक गुड बिकॉज दे टेक टैक्स एग्जम्पन ऑन दैट एंड देयर इमेज इज़ वेरी गुड कि ये अच्छे लोग हैं एजुकेशन वालों को मदद करते हैं एजुकेशन वालों के पास कहाँ पैसे होते हैं तो वो 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 यूनिवर्सिटियों से पूछते हैं और स्कूलों से पूछते हैं कि हम तुमको दे दें ये और ऐसा पाकिस्तान में भी होता है ये पाकिस्तान में भी होता है लेकिन वहाँ ज़्यादातर कनेक्शन क्योंकि नहीं है वो कबाड़ में जाती हैं चीज़ें सारी पिछले साल के क्योंकि हाई थ्रू पुट में यू ऑलवेज टेक द न्यू मशीन्स तीन साल पुरानी चार साल पुरानी मशीन जो है दे आस द यूनिवर्सिटीज डू यू वॉन्ट इट बट दैट ओनली हैपन्स इफ देर इज अ कनेक्शन सो वी हैव टू हैव अ लियाजा इन पाकिस्तान जिसका और कोई काम नहीं है सिर्फ एक काम है वो सारी इंडस्ट्री जो पाकिस्तान में बैठी हुई है और जो मेडिकल चीज़ें बना रही है बायो मेडिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन बना रही है बायो मलेकुलर चीज़ें बना रही है बायो टेक्नोलॉजी चीज़ें बना रही है उनसे आप कनेक्शन करें आई कैनॉट हेल्प यू देयर बिकॉज आई एम नॉट इन पाकिस्तान बट देयर हैज़ टू बी अ पर्सन अलियाजान जिसका काम पढ़ाना नहीं है जिसका सिर्फ ये काम है कि वो आपको कनेक्ट करना शुरू कर दे कि आप कैन यू बिलीव दैट आई हैव कोलाबोरेशन विद द वेल्श जूसेस वेल्श जूसेस आप सोचेंगे बायोमोलैकुलर इंजीनियरिंग वेल्श जूसेस क्या कनेक्शन है भाई मशीनरी कनेक्शन है यू नो बिकॉज दे हैव द सर्टन थिंग्स दैट यू वोट इवन बिलीव दैट दे हैव इट फॉर क्वान्टिफाइंग देयर डाटा क्वालिटी कंट्रोल थिंग्स यू नो एंड ओ माई गॉड ऑ माई गॉड आई वॉन्ट दिस मशीन प्लीज गिव मी यू नो एंड दैन दे डू स्मॉल प्रोजेक्ट्स यू नो कि वो सिरप दे देंगे आपको कि ये सिरप का इसमें माइक्रो माइक्रोब्स जो हैं कंट्रोल नहीं हो रहे तो आप ये चेक कर दें कि इसमें कौन सी शुगर हम करें और उनसे आप प्रोजेक्ट ले लें यू नो एंड देन दैट कनेक्शन उसमें थोड़े साल लगते हैं हाँ हमें दस साल लगे हैं कनेक्शन ये बनाने में सारी इंडस्ट्रीज के साथ तो अब मेरा ख्याल है हमारे पास हैं एटी वन इंडस्ट्रीज पूरे अमेरिका में मेरे बायोमोलैकुलर इंजीनियरिंग प्रोग्राम के साथ काम कर रही हैं एटी वन इंडस्ट्रीज और उसमें स्मॉल प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं लार्ज प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं सम इंडस्ट्रीज ओनली गिव थ्री थाउजेंड डॉलर थ्री थाउजेंड डॉलर वन कैपस्टोन प्रोजेक्ट एक साल का काम उस एक साल में जितना काम हो जाएगा उस प्रोजेक्ट पे हम करेंगे हम कहेंगे तीन हज़ार डॉलर ख़त्म हो गए हैं बच्चे चले गए हैं ग्रेजुएट कर गए हैं और अगर आपने ये प्रोजेक्ट आगे चलाना है हम नेक्स्ट टीम को दे देते हैं थ्री थाउजेंड डॉलर और चाहिए प्लस ऑल द ट्रांसपोर्ट अगर कहीं जाना आना है वो सब पे करते और ये एक मिस नोमर है कि पाकिस्तान में पैसा नहीं है पाकिस्तान में पैसा एजुकेशन में नहीं है जो इंडस्ट्री है उसके पास पैसा है आपको वो पैसा एक्सप्लोर करना है वो पैसा मैं नहीं एक्सप्लोर कर सकती क्योंकि मैं यहाँ नहीं हूँ लेकिन आपको एक क्लेवर डेडिकेटेड लियाजान चाहिए जिसकी कि एक डेजिग्नेशन हो और उसका ओनली जॉब है कि वो आपको हेल्प करे पाकिस्तान की इंडस्ट्री के साथ कनेक्ट करने के लिए दैट्स हिज और हर ओनली जॉब और अकाउंटेबिलिटी होनी चाहिए अगर वो एक साल में आपको दस इंडस्ट्रीज के साथ कनेक्ट नहीं किया उन्होंने फायर दैट पर्सन फायर कर दें निकाल दें नया बंदा रखें दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अकाउंटेबिलिटी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट राइट सो और अकाउंटेबिलिटी कैसे होती है वो ऐसे होती है कि जब आप जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन लिखते हैं तो उस जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन में ये लिखा होता है कि योर जॉब इज दिस एंड इन वन ईयर वी वॉन्ट टू हैव टेन इंडस्ट्रीज and in next 5 years we want 30 to 40 industries and if you don't meet your job in description there is no job so you hire on ad hoc you hire people on ad hoc 
great point by the way ji aur ek is it is it national or to aur ek ke log yahan baithe okay What, what is it called? Industrial linkages. And and how many industrial linkages you guys have? अच्छा तो एक एक जो एक जो जो ये डिस्कशन हो रही है इसमें एक बात बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट है जैसे मैं बार बार बोलती हूँ अकाउंटेबिलिटी 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 एक दूसरा लफज बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट है वो है विजिबिलिटी जब मैं आप लोगों से ये पूछती हूँ ना कि कितने ये कितने हैं मुझे बताओ इंडस्ट्रियल लिंकेजेस कितने हैं तो मैं ये देखती हूँ इस कमरे में कि आप एक दूसरे की तरफ देखते हैं पता नहीं है क्योंकि आप नहीं भी की नहीं नहीं कह हाँ हाँ एब्सल्यूटली डॉक्टर डार्क इधर इट इज नॉट देयर और इट्स देयर एंड यू डोंट नो ये विजिबिलिटी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ट्रांसपेरेंसी इसको कहते हैं अमेरिका में ट्रांसपेरेंसी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट किस डिपार्टमेंट के पास कितने पैसे आए हैं कहाँ से आए हैं क्यों आए हैं कैसे उन्होंने यूज किए हैं ऑल इन अ गुड वे बैड वे में नहीं कि वो उनसे पूछना है कि कहाँ खर्च किए हैं ऐसे नहीं ठीक है ओ माई गॉड यू नॉट सो मच मनी वेयर आर यू स्पेंडिंग इट वट इज योर एजेंडा लेट मी बी पार्ट ऑफ इट दैट वे और उसमें आप कहते हैं कैसे तुमने किया मैं भी करना चाहती हूँ एंड देन यू डू इट राइट right? सो so, उसमें एक दूसरे का मेंटर बनने में आसानी होती है मेंटर्स एंड मेंटी एक दूसरे को हेल्प करने में वही मैंने कहा वी हैव टू बी लाइक दिस नेटवर्किंग नहीं है आपस में नेटवर्किंग नहीं है हम बाहर जा रहे हैं बाहर की नेटवर्किंग ढूंढने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं हमें यहाँ से शुरू करना है राइट सो सो इट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दैट विजिबिलिटी हैज़ टू बी देयर तो वो विजिबिलिटी कैसे आएगी वो विजिबिलिटी ऐसे आएगी कि साल में दो ऐसे फंक्शन होने चाहिए दो हर छः महीने के बाद जिसका सिर्फ ये काम है चाय नहीं है चाय के लिए नहीं आना है खाने के लिए नहीं आना है उस फंक्शन में सिर्फ इसलिए आना है कि वो तमाम लोग जो मनी लेके आए हैं एल सी डब्ल्यू यू में उनको हाईलाइट करना है वो लोग सामने आएंगे जैसे इस वक्त मैं यहाँ बैठी हूँ वो कहेंगे कि मैं फलानी जगह से इतनी मनी लेके आई हूँ और मैंने उसका ये करने लगी हूँ और मैं इतनी ये 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 लोग हैं जिन्होंने मेरी मदद की ये मेरी टीम है फिर दूसरा आएगा फिर तीसरा आएगा वहाँ हम एक्चुअली अमेरिका में हम पोस्टर सेशन करते हैं वो पोस्टर सेशन होता है सारा दिन वहाँ पोस्टर लगे रहते हैं और दिखाते हैं कि भई मैं इतनी मनी लेके आई हूँ ऐसे लाई हूँ और इसको मैं ये करने लगी हूँ और सारे जाके देखते हैं और कहते हैं वाह कंग्रेचुलेशन दैट सो आसम एंड देन देयर इज लाइक मिंगल मिंगल इट्स लाइक अ मिंगल थिंग एंड नाउ एवरीबडी नोज अब यू विल से ओ सम पीपल विल नॉट कम टू दैट फंक्शन टू बैड बट यू डिड योर पार्ट सो वो विजिबिलिटी जो है उसके लिए भी एक फंक्शन होना चाहिए और ये आई थिंक आई विल पुट ऑन द प्लेट ऑफ एच ओ ये कर सकते हैं के मिल बैठे और कहें कि ठीक है साल में हम दो फंक्शन करेंगे जिसमें हम उन सारे लोगों को हाईलाइट करेंगे जिन्होंने हार्ड वर्क किया है मनी लेकर आए हैं उनको कुछ मॉनेटरी वो देंगे इंसेंटिव uh, उनकी पे बढ़ाएंगे समथिंग लाइक दैट यू नो यू हैव टू टेल पीपल दैट हे यू वर्क हार्ड एवरीबडी नोटिस्ड यू आर एन एग्जाम्पल यू बिकम द मैंटर यू नो फर्स्ट वूमन वेंट टू चाइना यू नो एंड एंड स्पोक देयर you know we have to highlight her she is the star you know so that that thing the praise for each other it's called collective pride collective pride me 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 no we 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 will go it's a collective pride oh my god hamara department hamara ce department hamara architect department not mera हमारा उर्दू डिपार्टमेंट हमारा पंजाबी डिपार्टमेंट हमारा इंग्लिश हमारा पर्शियन डिपार्टमेंट हमने ये किया हमारे डिपार्टमेंट ने ये किया यू विल सी द होल वर्ल्ड विल बी बिकम योर फैन वो कहेंगे ये इन्होंने किया क्या है लाहौर कॉलेज फॉर वुमन यूनिवर्सिटी ने किया क्या है ये एंड फॉर दैट आई सेट 
असाइड कर दो सारे कॉन्फ्लिक्ट असाइड कर दो यू नो फॉर वी आर लाइक बिगेस्ट फैन ऑफ इच अदर यू नो ओके योर हैंड वसा अक्सा हफ्सा वट अ ब्यूटिफुल नेम दैट्स अ कुरानिक वर्ड राइट हफ्सा अरेबिक ओके हफ्सा ओके गो है ओके सो अगेन आई लव इट यू हैव लाइक जस्ट फुट इट ऑन द टेबल सो वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट इज वेरी बिग राइट नाउ इन द वर्ल्ड Have you heard about the We Movement? We, W E, We Movement का सुना है? अच्छा, Google कीजिए आज उसको. We We Movement, W E. ये औरतों की movement है. Woman empowerment is not a Pakistani problem. So first thing I want to tell you that woman empowerment is an is an international problem. ठीक है? बट उसका फ्लेवर फर्क है हर जगह पे ठीक है राइट डोमेन्स डिफरेंट हैं और जेंडर पे इश्यूज दैट वी आर पेड लेसर देन मेन यू नो इवन इफ वी आर सेम इफ इवन इफ वी हैव सेम स्किल्स एंड सेम डिग्रीज दैट इज स्टिल ट्रू मैं आपको अमेरिका का बता सकती हूँ इफ देर इज अ मैन एंड देर इज मी एंड वी आर इक्वली स्किल्ड I get 70 cents for every dollar he gets. That's my pay. And that the only reason is that my gender is different. And that has to go. And that will only come from women like us, right? So women empowerment mein is waqt bahut money hai. A lot of funding. Not only इंडस्ट्री में नॉट ओनली एन एस एफ एन आई एच और ऐसी जगहों पर बल्कि ये जो वी मूवमेंट चल रही है जो सिर्फ औरतें चला रही हैं यू नो उसमें बहुत पैसा है यू नो मदर्स की एक मूवमेंट है मदर्स फॉर मदर्स फॉर डॉटर्स कुछ ऐसा करके यू नो उसमें उसमें और वो बाहर बाहर के मुल्कों में है सो उसमें वेमेन एम्पावरमेंट में देर इज अ लॉट ऑफ मनी एंड आई कैन कनेक्ट यू विद अ लॉट ऑफ डिफरेंट स्मॉल एंड बिग प्राइवेट एंड गवर्नमेंट एजेंसीज एंड यू कैन फाइंड फंडिंग देयर जो पाकिस्तानी वुमेन हैं उनके लिए फंडिंग ज़्यादा होगी क्योंकि हम लोग डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज से हैं लेकिन मैंने ये देखा है कि जो इंडिया से आते हैं लोग उनकी फंडिंग बहुत जल्दी होती है बहुत जल्दी होती है एक तो ये है कि वो सेवन टाइम्स बिग हैं हमसे सो फॉर एवरी सेवन इंडियंस वन पाकिस्तानी कम टू अमेरिका फॉर एवरी सेवन ग्रैंड्स वन ग्रैंड इज पुट इन बाय पाकिस्तानी राइट सो वी हैव सेवन टू वन रेशो सो दैट इज बैड इनफ बट ऑल्सो देर आर अदर प्रॉब्लम वी हैव वी हैव डिसिप्लिन प्रॉब्लम्स Americans are when I write an email, I want an answer, right? Because we live in a abhi hum uh, virtual world me rehte hain. Agar maine kisi ko text likha, ye to ho hi nahi sakta ki unhone nahi dekha. Mujhe nazar aa raha hai, dekh liya hai na. To phir uska answer chahiye. So that world, uh, wo world, thoda sa fast move karti hai, fast pace hai. Uske saath uh, jise kehte hain step up karna, you know, humne sikhna hai, you know. तो लेकिन वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट इज अ नोबल कॉज इज द राइट कॉज फॉर पाकिस्तान एंड फॉर एवरी वेयर इन द वर्ल्ड सो उसकी कलेब्रेशन भी मुश्किल नहीं है उसके पैसे भी मुश्किल नहीं है ये मेरा वादा है आपसे दैट आई विल हेल्प या वो आसान वाला है आई एम आई एम पार्ट ऑफ लाइक मेनी मूवमेंट्स देयर हाँ जी वो 
पाकिस्तानी वुमेन की पार्लियामेंट में एट दैट टाइम एस सी डब्ल्यू यू को फोकस किया था डीप एंड सी ओ डीज ये जो हाई पावर पोजिशन पे खातन काम करती हैं उनकी पावरमेंट का क्या कॉन्सेप्ट क्या है और वो पूरा मेरा पोस्टो की रिसर्च है इस परेट एंड इसमें मजीद जो काम हो सकता है वुमेन एम्पावरमेंट में That's awesome. Ah, but but see, women, the the women that you see, although in this room there are majority is women, but women who are actually empowered in Pakistan, that fraction is very low. Very low. Because it just seems like that oh there are so many women, in this room. But you know that how many different areas women need empowerment. they they don't even have decision powers in their own homes mai aap ke sath investing finding kiya tha kyunki us waqt ki jo khawatin thi mostly teen and directors thi jinse maine interview kiya tha and almost all the women mein ye tha tha ki hum hamara koi say nahi hoti ke tarish jaise plot khelna hai ya ghar banana hai to mostly wo decision making hamare men karte hain beshak hum financial resources bhi share karte hain right and many women who earn more than their husbands still bring the check home and give it to their husband why i i, I mean may, uh, the other day other day i was like talking to the young women in in the science department biotechnology department i i discussed this with them wo to shaadi se pehle bhi mr hain and sakib sahab maaf kar dijiye aur shaadi ke baad bhi mr hain और मैं शादी से पहले मिस हूं और बाद में मिसिस हूं मैंने क्या कसूर किया वाई डू यू वॉन्ट नो इफ आई मैरिड और नॉट यू डोंट वॉन्ट नो दैन मैन आर मैरिड और नॉट यू नो सो सो द थिंग इज इन दोल्डन टाइम्स इन सेवनटीन हंड्रेड वीमेन वर इधर वाइफ विडोज और वर्जेंस दैट मीन्स दैट माई कैटेगरीज आर ओनली वट आई डू विद मैन यू नो एंड दैट मेंटेलिटी has still been going on so we are in a patriarchal society and of course women need to be empowered right but unfortunately we cannot be empowered unless men stand with us our sons our bhai our fathers have to put their force under our wings and all of these women who are sitting in this room i can swear that you have a very good man in your life who empowers you somewhere either it is a bhai br- uh, son daddy uh, uncle who has put like like this fire under your wings and say go fly go fly so that has to change because we are in a patriarchal society to women empowerment to ek ek aisa issue hai jiske upar hum din raat baith ke baat kar sakte hain aur america mein bhi bade problems hain you know यस एक्चुअली मेरा सब्जेक्ट पंजाबी है डॉक्टर मुजाहिदा मेरा नाम है और हमारा जो प्रॉब्लम है वहाँ वेमेन एम्पावरमेंट जो है वो नहीं ये इशू यहाँ प्रॉब्लम ये है कि जो बच्चे क्वालिफाइड हो जाते हैं वो चाहते हैं कि हम इंटरनेशनल लेवल पे काम कैसे करें उनको ये थी और जिस वक्त मैं इधर आ रही थी हमारी पी एच डी स्कॉलर स्कूल में बैठती हैं मेरा वेट कर रही है आप जब वहाँ जाएंगे तो उनको पूछ के आए कि हम पी के दौरान या पी के बाद बाहर जाके क्या कर सकते हैं और कैसे कर बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं या सो सो सी दैट कॉन्सेप्ट दैट पंजाबी डजेंट हैव अ फुटिंग एनी वेयर एल्स इन द वर्ल्ड दैट इज लॉन्ग गॉन दैट उर्दू और फारसी एंड अरबिक डजेंट हैव अ फुटिंग एनी वेयर एल्स अदर देन ओनली द कंट्री दैट इज फार गॉन these kind of subjects now are introduced as electives in many many good schools all good schools not all schools but all good schools so uw madison is a top 30 university um, uh, in uh, america i i did my post doctorate from there yeah they have a whole linguistics department and that linguistic department has subsections of arabic punjabi urdu uh, marathi uh, tamil nadu um and i can tell you like few more and and they basically they are they are now become electives they are elective subjects which students learn and pakistan can become a hub of a place which connect with the 
a university like UW Madison, Seattle, all the big places like coastal areas like California mein ab Eid ki chutti hoti hai. New York mein Eid ki chutti honi shuru ho gayi hai. People have come to know about our culture and they are respecting it more and more. There are also people who say why do you take hijab and like that. There are bad people, good people everywhere. But now people have interest ke what is Punjabi? What is Urdu? What is the... Because we were talking about ESL yesterday. You don't learn English language. You learn a culture. Punjabi is a culture. Urdu is a culture, right? So it has a lot of place now in America, lot more in Europe. And you can, with this uh, uh, um, online forum open, you inshallah can like be teachers from here and the, um, the women who are like under, doing doctorate um, the, the, the linguistics, you know, they can also get connected with amb embassies, different embassies uh, in, in Pakistan, mostly are there in Islamabad, but there are some consulates in Lahore also. They sometimes have special scholarships for these people to go out and write, you know, in their own cultural language, which becomes like, because because language is a culture. So if it is, when it is translated into English, then other people will read it too. But if it is never written, it will not get translated either. So this is Punjabi, Urdu, Afsane, Choti Kahania, Novelets, Novels, and all that need to be first written. And there are a lot of scholarships for that. And there are a lot of platforms where these students can go now. Of course. Of course, and we will keep in touch also. So, so there is like a lot of talent sitting in this room, like thousands of hours of experience is sitting in this room. Thousands of hours of PhD work and postdoc work and talent is sitting in this room, you know. So it, uh, miracles can be done with that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What department? Persian. Shahida? Shahida Alam. G. G. Shahida. America में Okay, so so postdoc का question ए एक और भी किसने उठाया था? Was that Aksa? Okay, so so अब मैं जो कहने जा रही हूँ, you know, take it with a grain of salt, ठीक है? Postdoc जो है America में वो cheap labor है, ठीक है? Don't get don't get insulted. Why? Because a person is already doctorate. आपको उसको train नहीं करना है, कुछ नहीं करना है। पहले दिन वो lab में आएगा बच्चा, 
और काम पे शुरू हो जाएगा और आप उसको बहुत कम तनख्वाह दे रहे हैं पोस्ट डॉक इज चीप लेबर मैं 21 साल की नौकरी के बाद अगर मैं आज पोस्ट डॉक लेना चाहूँ ना तो मुझे ऐसे पोस्ट डॉक देंगे ट्रे पे ट्रे पे लेके आएंगे क्योंकि पैसे तो थोड़े से देने हैं और बंदा ट्रेंड है तो ये मिस मिस नोमर या ये मिसकनसेप्शन के पोस्ट डॉक्स नहीं हैं ये ये टोटल मिसकनसेप्शन है देर इज सो मैनी पोस्ट डॉक्स इन एवरी सब्जेक्ट पंजाबी उर्दू पर्शियन अरबिक इंग्लिश साइंस ऑफ कोर्स इंजीनियरिंग आर्ट पोस्ट डॉक्स इज चीप लेबर एंड यू कैन गेट पोस्ट डॉक्स इन यूनिवर्सिटीज लाइक जो होती हैं क्लासिक जो यूनिवर्सिटीज जिनके नाम आते हैं जॉन हाफकिस यू नो प्रिंसटन यू नो यू कैन गेट अ पोस्ट डॉक देयर बिकॉज इज चीप लेबर दे विल टेक यू ऑन अ प्लेट जो जो कनेक्शन मिस है ना यहाँ वो सिर्फ ये है कि पोस्ट डॉक ढूंढनी कैसे है और अप्लाई कैसे करना है हजारों पोस्ट डॉक्स हैं ठीक है तो उसके लिए हम एक छोटा सा लेक्चर तैयार कर सकते हैं जिसमें सारे हम रिसोर्स बता देंगे कि ये रिसोर्स हैं सारे और इन रिसोर्स पे आप जाइए अप्लाई कीजिए यू नो थोड़े से समटाइम्स दे आस्ट यू फॉर सर्टन काइंड ऑफ सर्टन काइंड ऑफ करेक्टरिस्टिक्स दे सी इन यू यू नो सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल सर्टन पोस्ट टॉक्स बिकॉज एवरी पोस्ट टॉक हैज़ अ प्रोजेक्ट and they will say if you have a experience or not you can do a post doc after 20 years of job and you can do a post doc after 2 years of job but post docs you can get but post doc is not the only platform there are many other platforms where you can go which are like 3 months trainings you know in germany and then it is certification but it's like intense training very intense training you never come back the same you are very different so you go there you collaborate with the team you travel a little bit you give lectures and sometimes they are very um uh basic very basic like you are a doctorate in punjabi or or persian or like that and you go there and you say alif be pe the the se is the thing to start people don't know कि कितने अल्फ़ाबेट्स हैं उर्दू में और उनका अरब अरबी अल्फ़ाबेट से क्या डिफरेंस है देन देर इज़ समथिंग कॉल्ड पीस कोर आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू नो अबाउट पीस कोर पीस कोर इज अ लॉन्ग एप्लीकेशन एंड यू कैन गो इन पीस कोर एंड पीस कोर इज वेयर यू गो इन टू अ कंट्री दे विल नॉट गिव यू पे नो पे दे विल गिव यू ऑल द फूड भूखे नहीं मरेंगे और दे विल गिव यू रेजिडेंस they will also give you residence simple residence you can sleep and work you have to work with poor people and you work for one year two year and the universities in america they will give you uh, time off you can like go on a you know um not vacation but kind of like you take the time off from teaching because university wants you to have that experience so you you go away on a sabbatical or you go away something like that and when you 3 years you are in africa or from there people come to pakistan i have met people in italy and i said hi sir where are you from he said well i'm an american but these days i'm teaching in pakistan i said no way i'm a pakistani who is teaching in america and we met in italy you know and for the rest of the group you know we were always together because he told me he was in islamabad i said where are you you know he told me where he was teaching so it was very nice uh, so aise bahut sare platform hain phir phir everybody should in this room should know teachers without borders in the whole world there are platforms which is doctors without borders engineers without borders this is for engineers and for artists without borders teachers. teachers without borders nobody will stop you from going to a country 
and serving there whatever language you know and and you will be teaching kids who will be sitting on the ganda farash and you barely will have a room but you will be serving the world sometimes you go in the war zones where nobody wants to go teachers go that is teachers without yeah yeah we should we should come here and and then so that platform is also there does it make sense so so we can make a list of all these things it should be visible to everybody and then people can do whatever they would like to do with it ultimate uh, the ultimate uh, step that needs to be taken has to come from you not from me does it make sense okay thank you so we will conclude this for today i am always open you have my email you also have my linkedin you can link me on the linkedin i'm also on facebook but i keep the facebook for my personal friends and relatives so linkedin is the best way so you all should have a linkedin um, account and you should link with each other and link with me also and this is just a start we will keep working on this this is a process and i need your patience but at the same time i need your hard work and i will work with you so it's a journey we'll do it together okay thank you so much dr busha meza deans directors chairperson and participant of lcw and our resource person dr gul sadik afshan first of all i would like to recite miss sobia from arabic department recite verses from holy quran please come so a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا ايها النبي انا ارسلناك شاهدا شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا الى الله باذنه وسراجا وبشر المؤمنين بأن لهم من الله فضلا كبيرا ولا تطيع الكافرين والمنافقين ودع اذاهم وتوكل على الله وتوكل كل على الله وكفى بالله وكيلا صدق الله العظيم جزاك الله It is a matter of immense pleasure for DFDI to host this event after the successful completion of the series of seminar session since April to the July 2000 2021. Inshallah very soon a very important LOI between LCW and Malaki of School of Engineering MSOE it is 
actually the beginning of new era between lcw and mso e and the obviously credit goes to our worthy vice chancellor and dr gul sadik afshan thank you very much <coughs> inshallah the day will come soon and uh, you know i would like to request our worthy vice chancellor to please come and share our thoughts with us please Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Deans, directors, uh, faculty members, um, very honourable our guest uh, resource person. Assalamualaikum. Um, it's an um, oh, truly, truly immense pleasure. I'm not saying it just to start the conversation, but I, it's really a privilege and pleasure to be here in these workshops and series of seminars which are conducted for the uh, development of faculty for for their betterment, for their grooming. and for their future prospects in terms of their research as well as academic activities uh, i'm i'm so uh, truly honored and grateful for having met uh, dr gul gul because uh, you know it, it was two years ago i have mentioned it earlier also that it was just by chance that i went to that event in in uh, gunner house where i first saw her and uh, to be honest i was not very pleased during that uh, event or for which we went there uh, i don't know what dr gul thinks about that event because apart from her talk it was you know uh, not very impressive event but i am so glad that i went that day for uh, and and met her and at that time i thought that uh, she could be the person who can be very useful for uh, our future initiatives in lcwu and uh, my my you know initial assessment was absolutely right and i think in fact uh, i see the events which have been going on and even though i have not been able to uh, attend each event but i have been following it uh, i'm i'm so happy with the uh, you know uh, activities of dfti the way they conducted these events and of course the resource person who spared so much time and uh, very nicely planned all the events so the main objective of these uh, workshops or events was because i had two objectives in mind which we discussed dr gul uh, we had you know our our one to one conversations also during these events and we discussed how we want to initiate these events and how we want to continue it so uh, the basic objective was uh, to see how we can develop collaboration and you know linkage with particularly her uh, university but in general uh, overall in usa with various mm -hmm. institutions and the second objective was that to see uh, what are good international practices in in academic institutions which we must adopt in lcwu to uh, you know uh, raise our standard in i mean we have brilliant people we have lot of potential but most of the time it's not the grooming the exposure which is required which i'm 100% sure that this uh, particular uh, series of workshop and uh, seminars has helped to expose uh, give that exposure which which is uh, definitely going to have a long term impact on our faculty members as well as in the university environment overall and uh, i'm i'm sure that uh, you know i i mention it sometimes that uh, usually you know at the end of a, when you read a novel at the end it says the end but i remember a english novel i was reading uh, but not sure properly uh, and and uh, at the end it said uh, it's not the end it's not even beginning of the end it's end of the beginning right so i feel that such events it, it's 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 today is your last session but it's not the end you know it's not even beginning of the end it's end of the beginning so so you are going you have developed a contact you have developed a relationship and i'm sure it will prove to be just end of the beginning and you will have a very long term association uh, linkage with uh, our resource person as well as through her with various other people and institutions which will have inshallah very uh, positive Uh, i i can see that already that uh, it will have a very strong positive impact uh, on on our faculty member as well as in institution so i congratulate not just the dfti and our resource person but all participants also because i feel the 
this is the first step, which is the most important step that you take, that you need to improve and you take an active, you know, uh, sort of decision that you, you, you need to improve and you need, you want to learn and you want to uh, uh, develop the skills or, or the linkages, whatever are required to make you better uh, in your profession, to, to make your future uh, more progressive, more brighter. And, 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 you know, so I think I must, uh, appreciate everybody who has participated in these workshops because that is the first step which is the most important step which you have taken and inshallah i'm sure you that will lead to several more steps in future in the right direction so i'm not going to take very long uh, I'm, I'm really sorry i have a meeting at three o'clock with atc online so uh, i i wish i could spend more time with you people but i i'm i'm just wanted to express and convey my feelings that you all deserve uh, uh, to a big hand of applause because I think this is this is a wonderful job you have done. Thank you very much. Thank you. Inshallah, I will be having uh, again one-to-one -one meeting with the, uh, Dr. Gul um, uh, to to discuss how we are going to take this further, as well as uh, you know I have to discuss probably some funding opportunity for the university as a whole, not just the research uh, you know linkages, but maybe for some development project also. Uh, I have a couple of things in my mind, so I'll discuss that with her <laughs> at some later stage. I, I hope you are around for the next few days. Are you? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you very much. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you. It is a request to VC Saba and uh, Dr. Intasar Emil, Dr. Abzil, please come and give a certificate to our participant. Alia Farooq. Afsha Kaleem. Dr. Adil. Dr. Aksha, Arfa Javed, Asifa Kamal, Asiya Shabir, Asiya Shabir, Bushra Bajwa, Faiza Salim, Hafiza Parva, Huma Tosif, Huma Tosif, Hafiza Batul, Khabar Sultana, Komal Hassan, Dr. Mehwe Shaktedar, Maria Hussain. Manur Faru. Noreen Raza. Nilma Munir. Naila Anju. Kulutulain Tahira. Rehana Kosar. Dr. Sadaf Jabi. Sobia Hassan. Saima Sharif. Sumera Nuri. Samina Batul. Saima Bhatt. Sadia Tare. Maybe Shida. Shida. Yes, Shida. Doctor Saki. Doctor Saki. Doctor 
Miss Saima Faru. Miss Saima Faru. Miss Saima Faru. Sadia Faru. Sadia Faru. Udaro Saima Saira Taj Saira Banu Sobia Mariam Sobia Nasir Sumaira Sajat Dr. Rifer Dar Rohina Abdullah Rafia Jabeen Dr. Anjum about how I want to do it. 
if I tell her to do one thing, she would do two and then tell me to do three. That is, <laughs> and that is a partner. You know, when you have a working partner like that, then you feel empowered. You know that something will need get done. Usually in America we say, unless and until there's a point person on the other side who works as hard as you do or more, nothing gets done. So if it was not for the fanatics, nothing would get done in the world. She's a night owl. She, she, <laughs> she, she, she given an owl in gift from the side of Dr. Bruce. And, and she, she, not only she's a night, night owl, she constantly talk good about people. She looks for good in people. Yes. Yes. And yes. when you do that, yes. that what makes the circle around you more positive and better. And so I'm starting with this. And then there is a 5,000 rupees for her as well, you know, which she has actually earned all the nights when she was away. You know, so it's like no lunch is free lunch, right? So um, we, I just want to show you that I am invested in here. Like all that credit, go to. Dr. Bushra, because when I saw that what kind of steward of resources she is here and what she has to say, the wave of change she wants to bring for others, not for herself, I found a servant leader. I was like, I teach the whole world what a servant leader is who serves first, not for herself, but for you, to for the betterment of you. So then I got committed. So my commitment and my all my hard work basically all that credit goes to you and these three people who have put me here it's a journey like dr Bushra said it's a journey we just started this journey inshallah and we will not finish it we will have a process and we will do this journey together thank you
सबसे अहम बात है कि कुछ लर्न करने के लिए इकट्ठे होना और ये समझना कि भी